Hello everyone, so today we're just going to be looking at how to draw like Tracy Yardley. And this tutorial is going to be all about trying to break down his anatomy. So here we have two pictures. One is Tracy Yardley's and the other is Jamal Pepper's. And it's a similar pose, that's why I use it. And so we're just going to compare the two, and I use these nets of the two characters so we can compare them. As you can see, they both have big heads, big um, hands and big feet. And the difference is Tracy Yardley uses a thinner body and uh, longer legs compared to Jamal Peppers who has a fatter body and more stumpy, stumpier legs. So the head height is about, about one plus three fourths of a head because of the angle. And Tracy Yardley's is about two extra heads. So that's how you can sort of figure out the size that you want to draw for Tracy Yardley's character. Make sure that they're about three heads high. And obviously Tracy's is a lot taller than Jamal Peppers. And I think that's one of the many reasons why everyone likes Tracy Yardley's style so much more. Okay, let's just focus in on Tracy now. Okay, so I've added in different points of articulation for each part of his body. See how his body is sort of segmented? He has the upper part of the torso and then sort of like a waist area. And it can bend just like I'm showing here. And then you have the arms and the hands which can bend, the legs which can bend, and I've used different colors representing what how each part can articulate. So I think that doing that enables you to sort of understand how the body of a Tracy Yardley character moves if you were to draw it in various ways. Okay, so the difference, the difficult thing here is that because he's segmented and moved like that, you can't really tell a good, you can't get a good indication of what his body proportions are. So here I've drawn from the reference picture a straight ahead um, look, and I've put these lines there so you can see that they are the same height. So now we can sort of get a little bit of a better understanding on the exact anatomy of Tracy Yardley's characters. So here's the articulation, so you can compare them side by side, so you can fully understand what Tracy Yardley's um, anatomy is and how it, how it looks. Now what I've done is I'm going to explain to you how various lengths of parts of the body should be based on the overall image. What do I mean by this? Okay, well, for example, the arm to hand touches shoe. Okay, so from the top where that arm comes down all the way to the very bottom of the hand, it should be roughly touching the top of the shoe. So that's how you know that the arm to hand is the correct length. They should, it should go from the top of the shoulder joint all the way down to almost touching the shoe. So that's how you know. Now, the next is head to body doubled equals full body size. So that, this is a great indication how you know that your character is the correct height, I guess. So when you have their head and body the same, just double that size and you will then know how you should make the legs and shoes. Now, another one is that the head is slightly bigger than the body. So here I've put the body inside of the head so you know a little bit how, how much bigger the, the head should be than the body. So there's that little indication there. So right next to it you can see that the body should just be slightly smaller in height. So that should help you out to draw in how big the body should be. Now, what I mean when I say head is a little bit different because the head, the head circle isn't the full head that I'm talking about. So here's a picture that Tracy did of Sonic. And when I say head circle, I actually mean more face circle. So see there, it just shows the outline of the muzzle all the way to the tips of the eyebrows. And I'll be doing a lot more videos that will cover um, how to draw the face like Tracy Yardley, how to draw hands, how to draw shoes, how to draw ears, how to draw head. Like, I'll be doing all the little parts, but this was just about breaking down the anatomy. So we'll focus on the other things later. So everyone, I'm glad you enjoyed this video. Or I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.